Hi guys, um, pardon the crappy lighting, I'm underneath my bed, just really comfortable. Okay, I'll go where there's better lighting. Uh, here we go, in front of my bed. And, uh, yeah, pardon also my Garfield pajama pants I'm wearing. Aren't they so cute? It's a nightgown. It makes me feel like a little kid again wearing it. And, yeah, and my crappy hair is... I'm getting ready for bed, obviously, but I just wanted to make a video, um, because I was super bored in my theater class today, and I was really just, like, phasing out because I was super bored and tired, and I was, we just turned in, uh, an assignment we had to write, where we had to write 20 lines of dialogue, so not that long, uh, about a picture that our teacher posted online, um, on a website called Blackboard. I don't know if your school uses it, if you're in college or whatever, but my school does. And she posts a picture, and we had to write 20 lines dialogue based off of it. And uh, and it couldn't be surface level, so it's like a picture of this girl in like a f sitting by herself in a bunch of flowers, and there's like this bright light coming down and on her. But yeah, it couldn't be surface level, so like you couldn't write about her. Like, about people being in the garden, because that's too surface level. Uh, so I procrastinated and did it the morning right before. Not the best idea on my part, but well. And I still got, like, forced creativity. I always say I'm not a very creative person, but actually, that's not true. I am creative. I'm creative when I don't have to be creative. Like, the other day, I do a lot of ideas, now there are a lot I just don't go with, because I get too lazy to go and pursue them, but I do get lots of cool, like, actually very creative ideas. But when it's for, like, a school project or whatever, my creativity goes totally out the window. Like, bye, it's gone, can't find it. And I'll sit there like, uh, and write a very lame story, but whatever. But when I don't have to be creative, I'm very creative. Anyways, so because of that, I always... So in my theater class, I was kind of like, oh man, all these people probably wrote really good scripts of mine, just really lame, half-assed thing, but, and I just got bored, and I was thinking about a weird dream I had last night, and I was thinking about lucid dreaming in particular, as we all know, it's on my brain quite often, and the wheels were kind of turning my head, and, you know, now I don't have to force forcibly be creative for school, I got this idea that popped into my head, and that was to write a story. And in that story, it's going to almost be like an expanded dream journal, if you know what a dream journal is, where I'm going to put into it my, like the different chapters are going to be um, based off of dreams I've had. Because I've a bunch of dreams but a lot of them I can string together in like a sequential story almost and yeah I'm gonna start with dreams I had and start off what the dream was like but then just like expand it on them because I don't know about you maybe just me but I have a dream but there's really never a solid conclusion to that dream I just wake up um but yeah so each chapter will be based on like a different dream I've had whether that was a lucid dream or not um and I'll start off what was in the dream and I'll just expand off of it and build off of it and make it more and I want to tie a bunch of dreams that I had and then throw some real life stuff in just some made up stuff in and string it all together and make a story and I already have a few ideas of dreams I've had that I can string together so I'm very excited and I'm going to make a book off of it uh probably not publishing or anything just just a for fun thing for me, for me to have fun with and use my creativity. I'm gonna put a lot of, make characters based off a lot of people I know in real life. Actually, the characters are going to be people I know in real life and I'll have their names in and I'll just, if I ever do anything with it, I'll change their names, but whatever. And yeah, it's really just a story for me and for some of my, to show to some of my friends so we can all share and like laugh at it and just to be creative and go crazy and yeah by the way if you steal my idea i will i will hurt you i will punch you if you steal that idea i'd probably stupid by putting it out there but if you steal my idea grr rawr but uh that's about it i'm 
gonna try to get my butt in bed soon, so I'm not tired tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. class. And yeah, so until then, bye guys.